guys this is preeti and you're watching med resolution in this video i'll be uh, saying you or discussing you about the enzyme markers enzyme markers are the enzymes that are present only in particular organelle uh, cell as ribosomes uh, nucleus endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex peroxisomes and other organelles but these are uh, these enzymes only present in part, uh, particular organelle during uh, cell centrifugation after cell centrifugation we have to uh, segregate the organelles uh, based on identifying the MR marker enzyme if the marker enzyme will be lactate dehydrogenase then the organelle that is a uh, that is uh, that thing will be cytoplasm uh, said lactate dehydrogenase is only present in the cytoplasm so uh, and uh, other organelles uh, cell organelles marker enzyme will be discussing and seeing how how to remember this a uh, nucleus in nucleus transcription and rep replication uh, takes place so dna and rna polymerase for add adding the new other nucleotide dna and rna polymerase is required this this enzyme is required this is a marker enzyme for nucleus and for endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum in endoplasmic reticulum uh, glucon glyconeogenesis takes place so uh, for glyconeogenesis enzyme is required is a glucose uh, this is one of the enzyme uh, glucose 6 phosphatase is enzyme uh, during glyconeogenesis so uh, for endoplasmic reticulum glucose 6 phosphatase is a marker enzyme for golgi complex you can remember g and g golgi complex the marker enzyme is galactosyl transferase and for mitochondria there there are two membranes uh, as you know the mitochondria is a double membrane organelle it has outer membrane and inner membrane for inner membrane in inner membrane etc in, in the inner membrane of mitochondria etc it, uh, takes place that is electron transport chain it converts uh, nadh fadh to atp uh, so atp synthesis is a marker enzyme for outer membrane mono amino oxidase mao is a marker enzyme for cytoplasm uh, cytoplasma uh, all we already know that uh, Uh, glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm and the uh, lactate dehydrogenase is one of the enzyme for uh, glycolysis so marker enzyme for cytoplasm is lactate dehydrogenase and lysosomes it is a suicide bag of the cell where it uh, um, it has all the enzymes uh, protein digesting enzyme carbohydrate digesting enzyme lipid digest uh, digest digesting enzyme like lipase uh, so proteases catepsin is a one of the enzyme which digest proteins so it is a proteases uh, so catepsin is only present in a lysosome so catepsin is a marker enzyme for lysosomes and peroxisomes peroxisomes uh, in peroxisome there is increased production of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is a toxic of, uh, to detoxify this we catal we require catalase catalase enzyme so catalase is present only in the peroxisomes um, as we as it is present only in peroxisome so catalase is a marker enzyme for um peroxisome and uh, you have to remember that uh, uh, we have we have already studied that uh, protein synthesis takes place in the ribos ribosomes and we we should not uh, be misled by misleading for initiation of uh, the protein synthesis free ribosomes are required we cannot answer it as a rough endoplasmic reticulum or as, as you already know there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum is where ribosomes are attached to endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, doesn't have uh, ribo ribosomes attached to it rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in synthesis of proteins but uh, they are protein factors of the cell the ribosomes are the protein factors of the cell but for the initiation of protein synthesis free ribosomes are required so answer will be free free ribosomes that's all Uh, that's all for this video and thank you